Remember when cannabis was simple? It meant marijuana, pot, THC, grass, or weed. It's getting complicated. We're bombarded with CBD or cannabidiol. It's seemingly everywhere from medicines to supplements to foods and beauty products. So what exactly is CBD? And why is it different from THC used to get high? Let's make it simple. CBD or cannabidiol is just one of about 150 different biochemicals called phytocannabinoids that have so far been identified in cannabis plants. The biochemical is considered non-psychoactive. In other words, consuming it doesn't get you high. THC or tetrahydrocannabinol comes from a separate phytocannabinoid, THCA. Alone, THCA produces no psychoactive effect but it converts to psychoactive THC when exposed to certain conditions of light, oxygen, and heat. Cannabis plants come in different shapes, sizes, heights, and widths. And despite claims of multiple species, only one exists. It's called cannabis sativa. It's the species to which both marijuana and hemp belong. What makes the plants different among other things, is concentration of CBD and THCA. 99% of marijuana plants have THCA concentration between 2.5 and 22%. Hemp typically has THCA concentration of 0.3% or less. Marijuana CBD ranges between 0.1 and 12%. Hemp CBD falls around 3.5% and can be bred for levels reaching as high as 20%. The actual effects of cannabinoids, including CBD, are being studied for therapeutic use, though research is still in its infancy. Non-psychoactive cannabinoid CBG is a suspected sleep aid. CBC is a potential sedative. There's also THCV and CBN. Both are psychoactive and suspected pain relievers. What is known is that phytocannabinoids bind to central nervous system receptors. There's CB1, found primarily in the brain, and CB2, found primarily in the immune system. THC is especially adept at binding to CB1 brain receptors that edit non-essential memories to protect the brain from overload. For example, memories of what fellow commuters were wearing on your way to work. These receptors tell your neurons to lie low. It's that disconnect that THC seizes upon to make you feel relaxed and high. But what about CBD? Does it calm inflammation, relieve pain? reduce anxiety? Does it belong in your morning latte? The truth is, detailed molecular effects of cannabinoids are unknown and research is somewhat crippled. So far, the FDA has approved only one CBD drug. It's derived from marijuana and used to treat seizures. While the 2018 Farm Bill decriminalized hemp, marijuana research remains stifled because federally, it's still classified as an illegal controlled substance. It's for these reasons that researchers caution cannabinoids are part of a new frontier with potential to treat ailments from anxiety to migraines, PTSD, stroke, and blood pressure, maybe even turn back the clock. So, remember when cannabis was simple?